In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can run the Air Raid Staple Concept stick against or out of the five wide offense in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And with Madden 22 right around the corner, we're going to be uploading videos every single day that can help you get better on both sides of the ball. So if you're excited for Madden 22 and you want to get access to the best tips in the community, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that. And... Like I said in this video, we're in the Gun Empty Tray Stack out of the Pittsburgh Steelers Offensive Playbook. And we're talking about the stick concept. This is a concept that is an air raid staple. It's a triangle read concept. We're going to be showing you today how you can really master the stick concept and really kind of dive deep into some of the zone concepts and things like that. Now, if you're new to the channel, maybe you haven't heard, but I did release a... Um, a defensive zone encyclopedia or a defensive encyclopedia and what that is meant to be is basically a, a resource or a glossary that is designed to tell you okay if you're um, a 10 yard seam flat zone will cover this or a standard curl flat zone is going to cover this or a deep third is going to cover this and we actually break down exactly what the zones do uh, in the game whenever you leave them stock whenever you zone drop them whenever you run match and we kind of try to help you understand this idea of a grid theory, which is what zone drops really is. is it's putting these zones into basic grids within the game. And we try to unpack, you know, not only how you can manipulate them on the offensive side of the ball, but also how you can leverage that from the defensive perspective so you can stop things that you might not be able to stop. So if you want to get that deep dive into defense, uh, I left a link to that in the description of this video. It's a one-time purchase of 15 bucks, and it's something that we're going to consistently upgrade uh, over the course of the next couple of years as we kind of ramp up our uh, our understanding of what zone, of what defense does, what exact adjustments do, what does a QB spy do, what does a hook curl do, what does a mid read do, what does a vert hook do, and so anyways, if you want to get that, that's in the description. I want to talk about it a little bit um, here. So what I've got is the stick, the stick concept, and really what this is, this is meant to be the, basically the perfect pass route. Essentially, what's going to happen is, or what we want to see happen, is we want this. Um, this this stick route here to the tight end against zone he's going to curl up and against man he's going to run out so i'm just going to snap the ball and i want you to watch what happens so what you'll see here is that the x receiver actually gets double covered even though he's still able to catch the ball he does get, get he does get into a situation uh where he is double covered now real quick before we go any further i just want you to take a really quick notice here if you if you watch this play of where he gets to you see that he gets just inside the numbers and basically, again, this is a triangle read. Are we going to hit the fade? We're going to peak the fade. We're going to um, we're going to peak the fade route, and then we're going to look to the R one, and then we're going to look to the X. So the first thing that I like to do, as far as this concept goes, is this a great cover two beater? And the reason why is because if they're running cover two, even if they're putting a middle third out there, and even if they're sitting on thirty yard zone drop depth. Uh, what you're going to see is this circle receiver. I can just pass lead this to the right, and as you can see, we're able to beat cover two over the top of the defense. This is also a really good play um, against a traditional like cover four. So if you get a cover four look, I uh, just want to show you this uh, real quick so I'm not going to do any adjustments. And, of course, I accidentally ran commit, but as you see, um, X is open. Let me show you that again. So I'm just going to audible over to the cover four make sure I pass come in this time so they play a little bit better but I just want you to watch and what you're gonna see here is cover four does okay um, but X is still open I can still kind of sneak that in and then cover three I'm gonna just go to the standard nickel 335 cover three um, so that you can see that it's actually a really good cover three beater um, again you see that the out or the, the underneath route is wide open okay so now the big question is how can we make this even better the best way that I know how to do this is to simply take the R1 and put him on a flat route. And the reason why is because when you're facing Mabel coverage and you're facing people that are using zone drops, what's going to happen is you're going to go to circle to R1. And when they see that it's on a flat, it's going to curl up like that and allow you to basically run for about 9 to 10 yards. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to force the defense to have to change 
some of their tactics, but I do want you to pay special attention to something on this play, and that is that if you take a look at this vertical hook, what you're gonna notice is the vertical hook, for the most part, is going to take away um, the tight end route. Uh, as you can see here when he curls, you see that they kind of sit on the tight end. He's got two people sitting on him, and we're not able to throw that ball. So where we're gonna kind of maddenize it a little bit, if you will, is in what we're about to talk about. And really what this is meant to do is it's meant to do the same thing um, in terms of what a flat route does, but all we're going to do is we're going to simply take um, this outside receiver and instead of running him on a vertical route, we're going to run him on a curl um, or an out. So we've got the flat and then we're gonna put a curl out there and what you're going to see happen is now, all of a sudden, the X receiver is getting into a very unique position within the defense. And we still can hit the flat route. But now that seam flat defender, you're going to notice he's going to drop back to the outside player. This is a, a really good concept that we like to use from trips tight end out of the play curl flat. And basically, it's the same exact idea, um, except because of this special stick route, you'll notice the tight end go a little bit more uh, to the outside. So again, you see here it goes the outside, and now you get something like this. If you get a look like this, you can always check it down to the, to the underneath flat route. One other little advanced tactic that I like to do out of this is to simply take the, um, instead of putting a curl route out there, I like to put a, uh, a smart routed out route. The reason I like smart routed out routes, you'll see it'll pull these outside zones a lot more and it allows this window. Now, you notice that I'm getting picked off still. And this is where I've talked about before. This is something about vertical hook zones that you have to understand if you're gonna be successful. And that is that vertical hook zones in Madden, they basically play to the numbers. So because the tight end is not getting outside of the numbers, that's what's really causing the problem. And so what we, what we need to do is we need to either move our formation and run this to the short side um, or what we can do is we can actually um, go ahead and just read it and take what the defense gives us, which would be, in this case, the, um, the quick out. Or not the quick out, but the quick flat. So you see here I can take the quick flat for about three to five yards. Now, if you want to completely glitch out the, the defense, though, you're going to see that if I move to the opposite hash and I run this to the short side, this is something we cover in our route concept encyclopedia, but what you're going to notice is now that vertical hook zone is um, is still only going to defend to the numbers, and now I'm going to have the proper spacing. So if I just run the out route, right, kind of run this into the boundary, what you're going to see is now there's no one that's going to stop him. It's an easy read. It's actually a really consistent read, and there's really nothing they can do about it. The one thing I do want to show you is if you run traditional stick, um, and we're going to come back to cover two in just a second, but if you run traditional uh, stick just like this, and you run into the short side, what you'll see is the seam flat will still sit on him, and you'll, you need to check down to the flat, okay? That's that vertical threat nature of the seam flat zone that does such a good job of defending this coverage. Now, you might be asking, uh, okay, well, what if they are in cover two, basically? Um, you know, how do we defend that, or how does that work? Well, the same idea is still true about the vertical hook. You're gonna see it's gonna go to a specific spot. So as you see here, I can, and, and actually the tight end kind of freaked out in cover two. He didn't run the route the way that he's supposed to because I guess um, they programmed him to be a little bit different in terms of a cover two zone. But if you get a look like that, and then let me just show you stick. And let me put the vertical or the out. And if you watch, you see here, he's just gonna turn and hitch. Um, you can throw this once the guy kind of backs off of him, but it's not, it's, it's still not as good. So you might be asking, as I did, okay, well, what's a better way to run stick? And also, what's a way that I can run stick to the wide side of the field? Well, a real simple, um, a real simple way that you can do it is by this concept here. And that is, because if you think about it, what we want to do on the backside is we want to do slant flat. So it would be basically triangle on a flat, squares on a slant, and then we can just basically most motion him out. And what you'll see about this is it's the same idea. And you're going to get this flat against a seam flat. Okay. So you can kind of run that backside concept. And that backside concept is really good um, if they're in man to man. So if they're running man to man and you run that motion slant, that motion slant is going to be really effective at getting open. 
Okay, so really all we need to do is basically fix the front side. So a way that you can do this relatively easily um, in terms of still being able to use the whole field on your opponent is to simply take the R1 and smart route his route. And now what you see is you've got a deep out and now you've got really, really powerful spacing within that concept. So, you know, you can do that. You can also, um, you can also put the, instead of putting the tight end on the stick route, you can actually put the slot on the stick route. Now again, if you're just trying to beat the blitz, if you're just trying to beat the blitz, which is often what stick is called for, this tight end hitch route, like something like that, is one of the best plays in the game. Um, this right here, this hit, little hitch is gonna kill the pressure. It's gonna kill every blitz in the game. But if you're trying to beat someone that's dropping you know, everything back and really actually making an effort to stop it and you still want to force this down their throat, all you need to do is take R1, put him on a hitch, put circle on a smart routed out route, and then just re-hitch the tight end. So it's basically double stick routes. And what you'll see is the zones will really pull away and R1 is going to be wide open over the middle. So that's a way that you can throw it, still throw it against the zone and still have a really good concept on the backside of this. Um, the one thing, if you take a look at the backside, just real quick, if we were to run the backside as we were, um, what you're going to find is, again, that seam flat is going to cause issues for triangle. As you see right there, he takes the ball away. It's not, um, it's one of those things that you have to understand how the seam flat zone works in order to manipulate it because if you don't, you'll throw a lot of picks on this play and you won't understand why because you would think, well, it's a curl, the flat's going to pull everything outside, but it doesn't happen that way. So what you need to do is simply take triangle, put him on a hitch, and then we're going to take square, and again, we're going to put that smart route and out route out there. So it basically looks something like this, and now what you see is these hitches will get a lot more open. As you can see, triangle becomes wide open, even with a yellow zone on that side of the field. So you've now really stretched them horizontally. So there's really, there's kind of way of one of running stick, which is a traditional way, which is fine. You can run that this way. Um, the one thing I didn't show you is if they run man to man on that tight end, you'll see he's going to convert that into an out. Uh, that's okay. Uh, one last little pro tip about this route to the tight end. If you like to run the play, uh, whoops, if you like to run the play sail, um, this is another, this is a good play for that because you can basically smart route R1 and create flood, um, as you can see right there, you know, so you can do stuff like that, but, but there's kind of point one of running sail or, or, um, stick, which is, you know, more, of, I would say more of a traditional way, because if you get a blitz out of this, like if I get, if I get pressured out of this play, um, I'm throwing the stick route every time and you see it's very consistent and very effective. But then there's point two way of running this, which is really more all curl or spacing. And what that's designed to do is say, okay, now that they're dropping everybody back, how can I still attack the same kind of area of the field? So anyways, that is how you do that. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how zone coverages work, how you can manipulate them, I would encourage you to get my defensive encyclopedia. We literally cover exactly how seam flat works versus curl flat versus cloud flat versus soft squat versus you know all of those different types of zones it's really really informative so thanks for watching and if you want to get that guide i left a link to it down in the description of the video